So Kevin Yates starting in third. He's going to have to make himself very well known to get around your top two drivers. And we are going green flag racing next time by to see who will lead and who will win your 40 lap national qualifier event. Scotty Edwards starting on the outside of roll number two in your car number eight. Also watch that high line of Ryan McIntosh in your car 03. Barely Auto Mart's used car pulls off the racetrack. Lights extinguished. Here we go, fans. Green flag flies. We're underway. Byron stays slow, but to the outside, it's McIntosh by a nose. Byron and McIntosh side by side. McIntosh just a bit faster on the outside. Byron a little sideways. First slap going to the car zero. Three of McIntosh. Liam Byron a little bit hot down at turn one. Drifted up the racetrack. Both drivers did. And Kevin Yates stalks closely right behind him. Your field exits turn number four this time. Still side by side. Liam Byron to lead up two. Kevin Yates will stay on the back side of William Byron. Byron will fall in line. McIntosh, your new leader, down at turns three and four. Top four drivers nose to tail as a car number eight there as well in fourth. Scotty Edwards. Big time, spin down at turns one and two. Caution flag will fly as one driver getting turned around. And that's the number 66R of Riley Herbst, your Las Vegas, Nevada driver. Lights on top of the pace car are off, and we're going to see what these drivers can do. Green flag next time by lap 3 of 40 here at Southside Speedway. So Kevin Yates actually on the outside of the front row. William Byron back one spot. Pace car pulls off the speedway, and we're about to go racing once again after your first caution flag. Flagman looks them over as they approach the line. Green flag is out, we're underway. He's not as strong as I thought he would be on the outside of McIntosh. But William Byron is there on the inside. Out of turn four, they're side by side, doubling up all the way back to fifth. Scotty Edwards on the inside of Kevin Yates, so they side by side. That is the battle for your third spot. Down the back stretch into turn number three. Also look out for the number 87. Jackson almost locking him up down in turn three. Tommy Jackson is the driver of your number. Whoa, one driver touches into the outside wall. Number 66 again, bringing out your second caution flag on lap number five. So two drivers colliding this time. It's the 66Z of Zane Smith. The other Las Vegas Nevada driver into the outside retaining wall in the back stretch, bringing out caution flag number two on lap five. And he could give Kevin Yates a run for his money. Yates right now running in your fourth spot in your blue and white number 27. He's falling back to fourth, even though he did start on the outside of your pole center on that last caution flag. And this time it will be McIntosh, still your leader. Car number eight of Scotty Edwards in your orange and white machine. We'll be starting on the outside of your front row. William Byron will again start third on the inside second row. And it will be Jackson, Tommy Jackson on the outside of that second row, starting in fourth. Impala pulls off the racetrack and we're about ready to go. McIntosh back on the loud pedal. Byron gives him a nice nudge here at the line. William Byron now with pressure on the outside. That's Tommy Jackson, number 87. Cars stacked up, double wide all the way down through turn three and four this time. Single file though for your top five. Chris Lilly in your all orange machine, almost given a nice little nudge to Tommy Jackson off turn two that time. He's running your car number 72. Top three trying to break away now on lap number seven. McIntosh now with about a four car length advantage in your second spot of Scotty Edwards. William Byron is 
is still running strong in third as your top three still pull away here on the front stretch to make their way down to turn one. Two drivers around in turn three and four. Caution flag will fly again as one driver still stopped at the top side of turn number four, bringing out the caution flag once more before making it to lap 10. race fans about ready to go green flag racing once again we'll see who can take away that top spot from McIntosh coming up two wide all the way back trying to get single file William Byron still sticking it out of the inside that's your battle for the second spot on turn four Tommy Jackson now sitting in fourth in your car number 87. As he now sends a launch on to Scotty Edwards in your car number 80 and third. Jackson locks it up once again down in turn number three. Tommy Jackson trying to get as much horsepower as he can in the corners has several times locked it up on the entry of the corner. Again, does the same thing down in turn number one. And your top four drivers are evenly spaced down now, lap 12 of 40 coming around. McIntosh leading William Byron by about four car lengths down the back stretch into turn number three. Byron gaining some ground down to the gate. Packs your top two drivers trying to close the gap down to turn one. Scotty Edwards has fallen back. He is your third place driver. About five car lengths. Several drivers spin down in turn one. Andy Reeves, your car number 18, the only driver to stay after that spin involving the number 36 driver as well, Barry Beebe. And Andy Reeves will be met by the full field coming around, and he will get that car facing the right direction after this caution flag on lap number 13. The green flag will fly next time by, and we have not hit halfway yet. So these drivers still shuffling it up. Can't wait to see what the number 87 of Tommy Jackson does here. Long as he watches his brakes, watches his equipment, keeps the fenders clear, we should see a good race. Your top five is still anybody's race. Flagman will look them over as they approach the line. The green flag flies. We are on their way again at lap 13 of 40. Nice run by William Byron, the inside of Scotty Edwards. Now they're side by side. Now for second, William Byron will take control of second down through turn swing and four. McIntosh will lead the way to the stride. Tommy Jackson underneath the number 72 machine. And Kevin Yates is there as well. Coming around for lap 15 of 40 here at Southside. Contact there, Yates to the inside of Tommy Jackson. Las Vegas is now catching on as he now follows the number 27 of Kevin Yates to the inside around this racetrack. Tommy Jackson now losing two spots on the one lap right there around here at this racetrack. And Kevin Yates now in fourth. Scotty Edwards now listing your third spot. Big time battle though, coming around for seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Chris Lilly behind the wheel of your arms over 72 machine. Tommy Jackson will fall in line right behind that car, and that will be seventh for Tommy Jackson. Meanwhile, back up front, 
William Byron, your car 25, still listed in your second spot, trying to close the gap between first and second, and it's going to be Scotty Edwards in third in your car eight. around once again here on the front stretch caution flag will fly again it looks like Andy Reeves will get his number 18 ride back underway Apologize. Two number 18s in the field was looking at the wrong one. Dylan Saul is the driver that has brought up the caution flag now uh, twice. Andy Reeves running uh, fairly well inside your top 10 as we're about ready to go racing once again. Drivers now throwing it down and it turns one and two. The pressure moment. Scotty Edwards up high, slowing off the pace. Looks like he just getting, didn't get the line that he wanted right there. Drivers punching up behind him. William Byron pulling out to a two car advantage down at turn one. Oh, McIntosh, little wiggle there down at turn one. Kind of makes you think if he's running out of equipment. And Byron's right there playing it safe. Single file, your top four. Tommy Jackson passing the 66Z of Zane Smith. It's also going to be Chris Lilly down the inside. Chris Lilly on the corner panel of your number 66C will make the pass off turn four. Meanwhile, off turn number two right now, William Byron still about four car lengths off your leader of McIntosh. As McIntosh is running such a smooth race here tonight at Southside Speedway. Going to be the car eight of Scotty Edwards still third. Kevin Yates trying to run him down to turn one. Top five drivers, all single file, very spread out now. Tommy Jackson will round out your top five as they make their way off turn number four. Byron with a low look down to the inside for your lead spot. McIntosh opened up the entire inside of the racetrack for the pass. William Byron now dives down the inside. It's going to be the car 03. McIntosh up high. Side, side by side for your lead spot. It's going to be William Byron down low, McIntosh up high. They're still side by side for your lead down and off of turn four. William Byron finally getting credited with leading that lap that time around as we are coming around for 27 laps on the board to try to round this one out in almost 10 laps. Byron a little bit sideways that time by. Back down the inside is McIntosh, your car in 03. Byron, though, muscles out on the outside. Meanwhile, you have Scotty Edwards catching up. Kevin Yates is here as well. Your top four drivers almost lose the tail down at turn one. Contact made between your top two drivers. William Byron leaned on McIntosh just a little bit. And now William Byron with his hands full, plenty of pressure on the inside. Byron back down low, trying to get around McIntosh here at the legendary Southside Speedway. Coming around, 10 laps to go this time, 10 to go this time by for McIntosh in Cars Roll 3. Lap traffic to the inside. It's going to be Ryan McIntosh having to pass on the high side, right in the dead center of the corner. It's going to be William Byron still in second. Third is Scotty Edwards. Fourth is Kevin Yates. Fifth is Tommy Jackson running out your top five. We are at lap number 31 of 40 here at Southside Speedway.
Lap traffic is playing a crucial role in William Byron and also McIntosh's deal here with five laps to go. Four to go this time by for McIntosh. Your car is your three. William Byron, your car number 25, just throwing everything at the car 03, except for maybe yesterday's newspaper. I mean, he is just trying everything he can to get around your leader, and it's just not quite good enough. Three to go that time by for McIntosh. Kevin Yates has made his way up to third, putting Scotty Edwards in the car number eight back to fourth. It's Tommy Jackson running out your top five. Two to go this time by one driver spinning around and turns one and two right in the middle of the racetrack. Caution flag is out. Your leader for a majority of this race, Ryan McIntosh in a car 03. So fans, here you go. It's gonna be William Byron on the outside of your front row. Kevin Yates will be starting on the inside of your second row. Scotty Edwards will be starting on the outside second row in fourth. Tommy Jackson will be starting fifth in your number 87. Chris Lilly in your car 72, the orange machine. Outside of row number three. Folks, strap in your seatbelts. This is going to be a show of a lifetime. Here we go for the last few laps. Green flag is half underway. Byron spins, the leader flips. Folks, he's out of the car. Awesome sign. I told you it's going to be a heck of a show. You didn't believe me. Certainly want to thank you guys for having me out here at Southside Speedway. It's been a very long time since I've been here. Got a call a couple days ago to kind of fill in, so uh, thanks for having me just before we get things underway. It's been a pleasure. Looking for Kevin Yates to take the green flag off turn four, and we are back underway here at Southside. Kevin Yates shift up the racetrack into Scotty Edwards. Tommy Jackson's down low. Yates and Edwards up high. It's Tommy Jackson getting a shove. Three wide down in turn one. Kevin Yates, sparks coming from the bottom of that machine. It's your Las Vegas driver to the inside of Tommy Jackson. White flag gets out this time. Tommy Jackson and your Las Vegas driver of Zane Smith down low. Turn four this time. Zane Smith will visit Victory Lane here at Southside Speedway. folks straight from Las Vegas Nevada to Victory Lane in Chesterfield Virginia Zane Smith 
I tell you what, buddy, that was some Kyle Busch style driving right there. Thanks. Uh, I got to work on my burnouts, but, and it's, it's pretty hard to find victory lane here, but I just want to thank Pro Am, Stronghold, Kyle Beatty, uh, Dustin Ash, uh, Tyler Audi, everyone who helped me. Pro Am, Stronghold, The Pause, Oakley, Terrible Herps, Neo, just everyone who made me get here. Well, i tell you what, last question, then I'll let you go. I know you got a busy schedule, obviously. But listen, out of all the tracks you've been to, this one has to be kind of special. It's a very unique racetrack, right? Yeah, it's very different with all the speedy dry and puddles, but it's <laughs> uh, like they're telling me to go up, and then on the first lap, I got in a huge wreck. I thought I was done, and then... They said I just got some wall in my tire, and then I'm like, oh, well, can I still drive it? And then they said yes, yeah. so I'm like, all right. And then I made myself back through the field. Hey, congratulations on your win here at Southside Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, Zane Smith here in Victory Lane.